War is filled with risks and death, and those who excel in warfare are considered great generals. Sun Tzu highly valued the position and role of generals in the security and well-being of a nation. According to him, high-end military personnel must possess five fundamental qualities known as the Five Virtues. Sun Tzu's discussion on the Five Virtues may seem simple, but it contains profound truths and wisdom. So, how should we understand the true meaning of the Five Virtues, and how did famous military commanders and political leaders throughout history achieve success through trials and tribulations? What are the Five Virtues? Sun Tzu's exact words are as follows, the commander stands for the virtues of wisdom, sincerity, benevolence, courage, and strictness. This statement succinctly summarizes the five fundamental qualities that high-end military personnel should possess. Sun Tzu believed that the third fundamental quality of an exceptional military leader is benevolence. A general must first love his soldiers and treat them as his own kin in order to lead them effectively. There is a historical anecdote from ancient China that exemplifies this concept, involving the renowned general Wu Qi of the state of Wei. It is a story about him helping an ordinary soldier drain pus from a wound, which has become a legendary tale. Here is the story, once, Wu Qi noticed a soldier in great pain and asked him what was wrong. The soldier explained that he had a festering sore on his body that was causing excruciating pain, making it impossible for him to sleep. Wu Qi then did something unexpected. He used a knife to open the festering sore on the soldier's back and proceeded to suck out the pus with his mouth. I believe you may find this action quite repulsive, but he did it. The news of Wu Qi sucking out the pus for the soldier spread widely and eventually reached the soldier's mother. Upon hearing it, she burst into tears, leaving everyone puzzled. She explained, you don't know, but my husband served under General Wu as a soldier, and General Wu also sucked out the pus for him. After that, my husband felt grateful and eventually died in battle. My son has the same temperament as his father, so my tears are for this reason. He will surely be grateful like his father and fight for General Wu not knowing when he might also die on the battlefield. This concludes the entirety of the story. Wu Qi's act of sucking out pus to treat a common soldier's wound ignited the soldier's unwavering courage and loyalty in fighting the enemy. Although this story cannot be verified, it aligns with the principles in Sun Tzu's The Art of War, which states, regard your soldiers as your children, and they will follow you into the deepest valleys, look upon them as your own beloved sons, and they will stand by you even unto death. Only someone with a deep bond can perform the act of sucking pus from a soldier's body, which is dirty and foul-smelling. The soldier, feeling that his life value is respected, will naturally follow the officer's will and be willing to sacrifice his own life. Not only will he be fearless in his own lifetime, but he will also pass on this spirit to the next generation. This is the power of caring for soldiers. Soldiers on the battlefield are not afraid of death, what they fear is the disregard for the value of life. If leaders value their soldiers, the soldiers will reciprocate that respect. In the end, soldiers will exchange their lives for the love shown by their leaders. This principle applies throughout history. In Sun Tzu's view, the commander's strategic acumen, reputation, and benevolence are vital factors on the battlefield, but bravery and fearlessness are equally essential qualities. However, the bravery of a commander should transcend mere personal courage, it must encompass wisdom and great courage. Numerous historical examples, ancient and modern, from both domestic and international warfare, attest to this truth. Nevertheless, when true war arrives, how many commanders can remain calm and courageous? During World War II, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, faced a moment when one decision of his would determine the fate of 2.87 million Allied troops. How would his courage truly manifest itself? The fourth virtue of Sun Tzu's five virtues is courage. 
Courage is the foundation of the other virtues, without courage, wisdom is meaningless. The battlefield is full of risks and death. As a soldier, if one is paralyzed by fear at the slightest disturbance, they will not be able to fight. They must remain calm, capable of managing their fear. This is true courage. A soldier possesses two types of courage, physical courage, the willingness to sacrifice oneself for victory when necessary, and moral courage, the ability to bear the responsibility of decisions made and accept both victory and defeat. Let's take the famous example of the Normandy landing during World War II, with General Dwight D. Eisenhower as the central figure. On June 1, 1944, the Supreme Allied Commander's headquarters held a meeting to discuss the weather conditions. After careful consideration, a scientifically developed plan that suited each branch of the military was established. The final judgment was that only two consecutive three-day periods in mid-June met the necessary conditions for a successful landing, June 5 to 7 and June 18 to 20. During these two time frames, there would be ideal weather conditions for the Army, Navy, and Air Force to conduct the landing. The requirements for the three branches were different, the Army wanted high tide for landing to minimize exposure time on the beach, the Navy preferred low tide to reduce damage to landing craft from obstacles, and the Air Force desired moonlight to aid in identifying ground targets for airborne troops. After the discussion, all eyes turned to Eisenhower. Why? Because he had to make the decision. General Dwight D. Eisenhower's Chief of Staff, Lt. Gen. Walter Smith, once said, at this moment, the General's heart is lonely. Why is that? Because as the highest leader, when making decisions, no matter how many staff officers and executives you have under you, there is no one left to give you suggestions. You have to make the decision yourself, Eisenhower pondered for a long time, turned the calendar to June 6, and tapped it with a pen, saying, let's go. In his memoir published in 1959, he wrote, behind this statement lay the lives of 2.87 million servicemen, either I was to be the hero of history or its greatest villain. I had to take full responsibility for their lives and deaths, and there was no escape nor was it possible to escape. This is taking responsibility, showing moral courage, and it exemplifies the values that our era should uphold. The fifth virtue, strictness, emphasizes the importance of maintaining military discipline. Without rules, there can be no order. The military is an institution that values order and discipline. The Czech general, Wallenstein, was killed by undisciplined soldiers due to a breakdown in military discipline. Therefore, military discipline must be strictly enforced. Sun Tzu himself was a strict commander, as exemplified by the story I previously mentioned, Wu Gong instructs the army. Throughout history, renowned generals have always been strict and disciplined. Compassion and strictness are like two sides of the same coin, they are complementary and not opposing qualities. If Sun Tzu's concept of strictness is extended to modern society, we can observe that every industry requires strict management regulations. Strict management is an essential behavior for leaders. Sun Tzu not only views the five essential virtues of exceptional military leaders from a positive perspective, but he also discusses the negative character flaws that high-end military personnel should avoid. In the next video, I will address the personality defects that high-end military personnel should not possess from a negative perspective. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Your subscription means a lot to me as it allows you to stay updated with my latest video releases, and your likes are a recognition of my hard work. Additionally, if you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with your friends and family to spread the knowledge. Thank you for your support.